So you've just filmed a couple of video clips on your iPhone X, 11, or 12, or even 13, and now you want to tidy them up ready for posting to social media. But you want to do it on the fly, quick and easy within just a minute or two. So in this video, I'll begin by showing you basic, basic iPhone video editing on how to trim the start and or the end of a video, or break a longer video down into two or more independent segments. All this using the standard iPhone Photos app. And later in the video, I'll show you how you can easily cut a piece out of the middle of a video, or even add two short videos together to create one. Let's start by opening up a video that you've already filmed by going into the Photos app and locating your video. Here are some videos we shot when I went away for a 10 day holiday at a kiteboarding resort. And it was an absolutely fantastic trip. So at the top, click the edit button. You can either make these edits in portrait mode or landscape mode, but as these videos are in landscape, I'll edit them in landscape mode for convenience. Down the bottom, you'll see an arrow at the start and end of the video. These are handles that you can grab to trim the video. I want to cut the first few seconds and last few seconds of this video. So let's grab the handle at the start and drag it to where I want the video to start, right about here. Same with the ending, I'll drag back this handle to where I want the video to end, right before Paul's shadow comes into frame here. I can also choose to mute the sound, which I'll do in this tutorial so I don't have sound effects. I can press the play button here to preview the edit before I hit the save button, and I can make fine adjustments here if I need. When I'm ready, I can just hit the done button, and then I have a choice. By hitting save video, it will modify the original video and not make a copy. Whereas if I save video as a new clip, it will retain the original video in full and then take this edited segment and make it a new video. I recommend you go with the first option as it saves on storage space and keeps your camera roll free of fluff. So here I can play the save video and there is a segment I've just trimmed. The great thing here is that if after the fact I want to make adjustments to the edit, I can just hit the edit button again and you can see that the top and tail of the original video still remains. I can move the trim handles again or I can simply go back and hit the revert button to restore the original video. You would use the second option of save video as new clip in the case that you wanted to break a longer video into two or more independent segments. So let's say I just wanted to grab the first part of this video. I could again slide the handles to select the segment I want, then hit done on that, save video as a new clip, and that would get sent to my camera roll. Then I can just grab this part of the video and save that as a new clip and they will both now be available in your camera roll. If you filmed the original video some time ago, you will probably find these new saved segments alongside the original video earlier in your iPhone's camera roll. In a moment, I'll show you how to cut a piece from the middle of a video or add two short videos together to create one. But first, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, I do have one request, and that is to hit the like button below to help me with the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more useful videos just like this. It really helps me to grow my channel and inspires me to put out more great content for you. The easiest way to cut a piece out from the middle of a video on iPhone is by using the most basic function of the iMovie app, which is a built-in app on your iPhone. Start by hitting the plus button and create a new movie project. Then find the video you want to work with. Let's go with this clip and create movie. I'm going to cut two pieces out of this video. So let's come back to the start here, and I want to cut from about here. So tap the video to highlight it, then press split. I'll move to the end of the part I don't want, then again press split. The part I don't want is now separated, and I can just delete that. I want to cut another section, so I'll split at this point here, and again at this point, and then delete that segment. And there we go. I can also use this app to make simple trims like I did in the Photos app. So I'll tidy up the end and the start of this edit. When I've finished here, I can just hit done and I can preview and rename my video before saving it out with this button where I can then post it directly to social media or save it to my camera roll. On the topic of working with short clips, I wanna let you guys know that I've also been creating short form content here on this channel. So on my YouTube Shorts shelf, you'll find a bunch of 15-ish second videos where I give quick tips improving your video skills. So I'd love it if you stop by to take a look. Now, the easiest way to join two or more short clips together is again with the iPhone iMovie app. I'll demonstrate this by adding some clips to the video I just edited. By the way, to learn about the other controls of this app, tap the help button anytime. Now, let's add media here. 
You'll remember this clip from the start of the video, and here it is in its full length. But before I go ahead and include this whole clip, I can actually perform the trim function from here so that I can include only the bit that I want. Then I'll go ahead and tap the plus button. It's as simple as that. Then I can add another clip here at the end as well. In fact, I can add as many as I want here. By the way, I can reorder clips by simply tapping, holding, and dragging it to a new location like the start here. Another thing is that it's defaulted to placing a dissolve transition, but I don't want that at the start. So I'll tap this transition button and select none. I can then preview the video, again, rename it, and then save it out when I'm ready. There's other features you can play around with using the iPhone iMovie app, including adding photos, text, music, and fading in and out of black, plus more. It's a very powerful app for doing the most basic video editing, so I encourage you to really check it out and give it a go. Now that you know all about how to tidy up, cut, and join videos together, I recommend you watch this video next, where I show you a bunch of tips and tricks on how to best use iPhone's native camera app for videoing. I guarantee you'll learn something.